Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Hi everybody. So I'm ready for some, I'm going to say it right, Twal Christmas, I think, is how it said. Somebody say yes or no. <laughs> so today I watched Rachel's live and she did this cute little fold card took me a while like this was the third one because <laughs> I couldn't fold it but I finally got it I was just like flipping it the wrong way and I know I'll do it wrong again the next time until you go oh but then you know you do have this one as a, a sample when you make after you make the first one so if you want to learn how to do this go back and watch Rach's live and um and i suppose you can write your little message in there you can even put another piece in there but it was fun that i could make one that went with what i was doing tonight so let me stick this aside and we'll get to the the first card which is, and I do have this already, already colored and cut, but I do want to show you a little bit. I mean, they're, they never come out, depends on how dark you stamp it or, but I'll give you the idea of how I use the blends on it. But then it's also easy to just do it on red cardstock. So it depends on what, you know what mood you're in so i'm gonna just quickly stamp that and at least do the head to show you how i use the colors hi fran and sue and kathy and donna Yeah, I don't feel bad. Like I saw that there's certain folds that it's hard to remember. Hard to remember. I mean, if you did it every day, it would become, you know, easy peasy. So I actually used four colors red in here. So the dark and light cherry cobbler and also the dark and light real red. So what I did is like where there's black and I know Cardinals, you know, are black and red, but I still went in and colored that because when I left it plain, it looked funny and I'm still a little bit afraid of the black blends. I don't know if anybody feels that way, but. I'm still a little bit afraid of them. So I don't use them too often. I'll use like the light black and the dark gray. So I did that. Then I kind of went up by the top with the dark and I did a lot of flicking where it was dark down here. Uh, and it's easier for me to go like this way. So I did a line and then did some flicking so I'll do like that portion of it then I came back with the light cherry cobbler and did the same flicking through here and brought this down a little bit and then just put some lines throughout. Okay, then I did the dark red. And you just start filling in with those lines. I'm trying to keep my hand and I should have moved this camera down a little bit, but I think you can still see. So 
you just kind of continue to do that flicking with the colors. You can always go back and put in like darker spots if you need it. I think, you know, if you're following what I'm doing, you're, you've got the idea. So then when all is said and done, it kind of still looks like feathers would. So it's not that all smooth blending like you would do in a, um, in a flower and the same oh I went out of line there so the same thing down in there and you can always go back and add darker spots but that's how that's done and then on the other ones <laughs> like I wanted to go back in and put the white but like that's very fine lines to do so I'm kind of leaving them the way they are all right so this card and I don't want to lose the one that I did. So I started out with the leaves, the branch. And just put it at an angle that way. Okay, so this was also very quick coloring. Hello from North Carolina. <laughs> okay, so I just put in some dark and you're talking about a very thin branch here. So it's not going to be a lot. Then I took the light soft suede this is. And um, I got my new glasses today and I'm still blind. So I don't know. I don't know if it's getting used to them. So I'm having a little trouble here, but squares look like they're going on an angle to me and circles look oval. So I'm not quite sure, but I have to go back on Friday. I'm hoping my eyes just adjust, but I've never had that before. So we'll see. I'm blind. Okay, and I put in just a little bit into the leaves of the dark. Not much. So it's pretty quick coloring. And this is the old olive. The quality of glass. Mm. I've never had trouble at this place. It's a private eye doctor. I don't know. My computer glasses, they're angled wrong, so I, I can't even use them. So, whoops. Okay, so now the red, we're just gonna do the berries in whatever red I grab. I think it's the dark real red. And I can't see them. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry a second. And then we're going to bring on the balmy blue. And 
and my glycerin, which doesn't fit in my stand. And I just had it. I want my other sponge. Oh, I put it back. Okay. So I'm using this blending tool. So I'm going to pick up that color. We've got lots of glycerin. And on this one, I'm even going to make some marks. So so the clouds look dark. I didn't want that line, though. Oh, my goodness. And I got this really cool electric eraser that I was putting in an order on to what's my favorite shopping place? Amazon. It was $3.99 with no tax, no nothing. So, and it came with this big box of all these erasers that I didn't know. It was just like taped to the package. I was like, what? But they do have them. This one was $3.99 if you keep looking down the list. I'm going to see if that, uh, I'll probably ruin it. Because really it's meant for, like, when you get... So, oh, 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 it lightened it. I'm impressed. I didn't think it would work on that. I'm happy. Okay. I got a bargain. I got a bargain. Okay. So let's move all this. And that's definitely darker than that one because I used more glycerin on that. So that's how you judge what you're doing with that. Uh, so then we're going to stamp, celebrate the season in black. right there and we're going to mount this and this is five by three and three quarters and mounting that onto soft suede So it's really a fairly easy card. And then we're going to mount this onto thick white. Okay, so the bird, I took just one. We're just popping up the head, and the rest is glue. So there it is. Okay. Card number two. Which is this one. I don't know why I stamped two of those. 
Okay, so now this I didn't really have to cut a full piece. I mean, you can do and then just put it there and, you know, kind of guesstimate. But all I did was take this piece and just whack it down on the cutter. And I don't know how I did it, but they just about came out exactly the same. I just like eyed it. So I was amazed. This went through the um, subtle folder. So we're going to put that down on this. And this is like, it's two sided. You can use the red or the green. It's really pretty, the gingham. It's coming September 4th. Okay, and then I took this ribbon that we have in the catalog and it is uh -huh, reversible ribbon. So it's kind of like blues on one side and greens on the other. So I did that to make a little bit of definition there. So this is how I did that. Seriously cannot see. Okay. Now, I didn't cut that off. I wrapped it. And then took it off. Oop, I was just going to grab for my pick. Okay, so we want the green side. bird went flying then we can put this down little leakage which makes mama sticky okay so then we can go ahead and put this down as well so it's also once you get everything you know cut and ready it goes together pretty fast so these are all doable multi cards Especially if you don't, you know, color the bird, if you just cut it out. So then what I did with this is I took blends. Um, I think I took the light seafoam. No, sorry. I took the light mint macaron. And colored that. right garden green just for in here 
for all I know, I could be coloring over there. Uh, I don't know how I'm doing this. Whoosh. Okay, and then I took one of the reds. Now, this is light cherry cobbler, so that's the one I'm going to use. And just went around the edge. A little more sloppy than what I did before the new glasses. Couldn't she do it? All right, I just got to fix down here. I see white spots. Okay, and then this got mounted. about there and then this got also Oh, that's sticking out just a tad. It's like I want it to be there, but I don't want to see it. So then there's that one. I should have added a few gems to it, which I will later. So that's that one. Then I have another easy one. And then I'm going to show you the reverse stamping. So this was just stamped on red. And this uses... The heirloom frames and the heirloom 3D folders. So I have this like all mounted ready to go because I wanted it to stay there. So let's just throw this one together. Also a very doable Christmas card if you wanted to do a bunch of these. So five and three and three quarters, my fave, mounted on black. And then it's going to get mounted to the card. No ribbon to worry about, although you could doll it up a little more. You know, I like to stay simple. Hi, Noni. Hi, Deb. Okay, so with this, I am going to guesstimate the very center. So this cuts out a circle, but I use the, I mean, oval, 
but I used a larger size oval die so that it would make sure to be covered. So if I put that about center, it should work. Although I'm not seeing center tonight <laughs> or tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to go over it. And that should be about center, I hope. Because it's down. Yeah, it's good. Okay. <laughs> so then we're going to go ahead and put this down. Oops. Okay, so now that's down, and we're going to take this and stamp Thinking of You at Christmas. So we're going to put that right there. And then the bird. Wait, I just got a head da, 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 and feet. And a little bit on the tail. And this also, you could dress it up with a little, couple little gems, but of course I didn't stay. It'll dry. This, I mean, this one's on fine. You just have to hold it. But I'm going to set it aside because it's done. I wonder... All right, I put a block on it. We'll see if that ruins the frame. Okay, so this is my favorite, this one. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Of course, I already have them cut out and ready. But... couple of tricks that happen. So I'm using my gel plate. I'm going to take it out of the box. Okay, so we've got the gel plate. And we're going to take the stamp. I'm going to get a piece of paper ready. Don't get ink. Don't get ink. Oh, I think I left the die over by the machine. So you're going to stamp it onto the gel plate. And then you're going to go ahead and transfer it onto your paper and why'd that get that there had to be something on it let me just grab the die so i can show you the second trick <laughs> all right so i don't want to blind anybody but you take your phone and 
go to your flashlight, put it on. I'm not going to turn it over yet. So you're going to take this underneath with what cuts against that. Then, oops, <laughs> what a maroon. All right, so I don't know if you can see it from there. Let me get it close. But you see how you can see through it? So all you do is you get it lined up. Take your piece of tape. We'll pretend that's totally straight, but it almost is. Yeah, it is. So then you can go ahead over to the machine, run it through. And when it comes out, oops, I am blinding you. It's the opposite. So that. I mean, you can do it with a lot of other things also, but in this case, they're love cardinals. All right, so let me go back, shut that off, close it off, and go back to go back to my friends. All right, so let's put this. Let me just clean this off. So I clean it. I use our stamp and mist. And I found if I don't use the stamping mist, if I just use water, it doesn't come off. So now we're good. Okay, so I used our stitch hearts. And I did that one. So of course the center comes out of that. So I had to do one and this is the, oh, I can't see from here. Um, seaside spray. You'd think I'd know it by now. All right, so it's seaside spray and this is the paper. And it's a little different than the other one. I just thought this was too white to use. I was, I've already used up all of those. So I like this better. All right, so let's start putting it together. Let me get rid of that. Yep, floor. Hmm. <laughs> The writing has a right and a wrong. Okay, so for the birds, I put the white one down first. Oh, I don't need it on the tail. They're getting cut off. But they both get their heads lifted. Not chopped off, just lifted. But their tails are getting chopped off. So I put that one down there. And he's right there. And then go ahead and trim off their tails. And then they're going to go in the center. And then we're going to take the heart and just get some dots of glue around it. And 
and put that I gotta bring it closer and I think I put that down upside down <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did What happens when they mess up your glasses? Maybe no one else will notice. Shh, don't tell. Okay, now for the wonderful, I have it stamped, but I do want to just show you with the Stamparatus. And did I bring another one? If you line this right up into the, the bottom, let me move that up so you can see. And you can do this with any stamp that, you know, you want to do the greeting like that. You can line it right up to the bottom. Now, if it was a real small one, well, if you have it cut thin, you can still put it put it up against it but otherwise you just line it up as long as this is in your corner and you put it back there each time it's going to be perfect and you can see how straight well you can't till I move it back over So now, if I need to stamp that a second time, which I do, and I'll probably make another card so this will be ready. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay, so I'll clean that and put it away later all right so we're going to take this and put that down off the extra and now now these are the new dimensionals coming out in the new catalog and I think I just used I want to see if they're the same height I think they're not these are thicker I was gonna say in the middle you can use the white ones So now when you're mounting black, we you don't have to worry about seeing white. Yeah, I thought that was straight. It's not because I'm seeing everything that way oh, to be me so there is that card oh it needs a bow so that's the only other thing I did to it so 
since I'm blind as a bat, I'm going to call it a night and hope it's better for Sunday. So let me bring everything back. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, it's great. I, I've got some of my Christmas cards basically done. So we've got that one, that one, and where's the other one? Oh, and that dried much lighter anyway. What am I doing? One, two, three, four. There we are. So thanks for joining me tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you, hopefully see you better on Sunday. And thanks for joining me tonight. And you know my motto. I don't know what. But it'll be something. Thanks again, everybody. Good night.